Robin McKee, in his book Story, teaches about the process of script writing. One lesson that stood out to me was the idea of writing your script from the inside out. Whereas some writers write from the outside in, creating draft of the draft, going headfirst into their stories they wish to tell, Robert McKee provides an alternative. He discusses how writers plot out their stories, create detailed characters and locations, plan to a T without even thinking about the dialogue they would use. This advice got me really thinking. Why haven't I done this before when I try to write? Instead of scrambling for plot points and events that I wish to explore, then try to loosely connect them together without understanding how each event affects the story. This is me, and these are all the photos from the last few years. Memories that I have. Fond ones. I cherish these memories. These memories have made me who I am. And I look back with these with nothing but joy. Look at it, these. I figured how much these past memories of mine have affected me over the years. How I formed to be who I am because of these memories. When asked to reflect upon my university experience and what has influenced me over the years, I look back at all the photos I've taken from before university and after, and it got me thinking, who am I, and how my life has been affected by the people around me. So, with that being said, this is me, Liam King. I was born in Bahrain on the 5th of September, 95. You are not alone being at the top of the charts in the UK and Mortal Kombat was in theatres. I live with my dad and my mum along with my older brother in Manama, the capital of Bahrain. Living in Bahrain felt normal for me. I never saw it as being weird or anything. We moved to Tembi when I was about 8 and spent most of my life there. Moving was a huge change in lifestyle. We moved to a house that was significantly smaller, a town that was smaller that I knew no one. My dad still worked in Bahrain, which meant that for every three months, I would see him for three weeks. It took me until year eight to find a group of friends I could trust. These were the guys I spent most of my secondary school life with. We made little movies together, although they weren't great. It's how I learned about film. These were my friends I met online. We've known each other for six years now, but this year was the first time we met in person. Before then, we only talked online, and I felt like I'd known them forever. These are my friends I met in university. We lived in the same house for two years. They've carried me through university. To be completely honest, I couldn't have done it without them. There's a quote that goes, be softer with yourself. You're a breathing thing, a memory to someone, a home to a life. When I was 19, I failed my A-levels. To my understanding, only two people passed our A-levels, whilst the rest went lower than a D, including myself. To say that this has affected me for four years is an understatement. I felt cheated. I felt that I failed myself and the people around me. I wasn't allowed to return to sixth form because of the result and had to take a gap year because of it. I worked in a small local shop for that year while sat in my room, hating myself. I felt like the world decided to move on while I became stagnant, forever not moving. I felt that the result wasn't deserved and I never understood why it happened. Although my friends say I haven't changed, I feel like I've aged, and that I'm forever losing time. If I've learned anything over the last few years, I found an interest in people that I never knew existed. I've done so many things I've regretted, 
and failed many times more. People have kept me working towards my goals. The knowledge of letting them down and letting myself down has pushed me to work as hard as I can. I don't think there's enough time to explain what each person has done to make me who I am. But I know that every single one has made me who I am. And that, that is my story. <laughs>